Hey, what's going on? Peace and harmony. It's time for my second to last video of my moon sign series. Eric Taylor, Taylor to you coaching. It's Libra Moon. The balance, the fairness, the scales, the harmony. Okay, we're talking about ruler of the seventh house, ruled by the planet Venus. It's a cardinal air sign, right? So it initiates what? Autumn. Yeah, you get it. So think about wanting peace and beauty and these people love relationships and their, their, their moon is your instincts, your mind, right? I mean, you know, we'll get into how your mom was and some of the famous people. It's a crazy list, right? Dr. Dre, Tom Hardy, Ray Charles, Tyler Perry, um, Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, Jay-Z, Missy Elliott. It goes on and on, Dr. Dre, all right? So they like beauty, they speak well, people like them, they love to be in relationships, they're good in marriage. I'll get into all of it. Be safe, be careful, be your moon. Eric Taylor, Taylor to you coaching. The Moon Sign Series. Only got one more left, that's Cancer. All right, Libra Moon, it's all about you. You peaceful, harmonious person. All right, and my cousin Lisa Robinson, she's amazing. Libra Moon, I gotcha. Taylor to you coaching. Smile, oh, they have great smiles. Smile. All right, Libra Moon, let's go for a walk. You think I don't know about you? Well, Sarah Taylor, Taylor to coaching, relationship coach, astrologer, breaking it all down for you. The Libra Moon, we gotta talk about their mamas. So the sun is your Idigo, Idigo, Idigo! <laughs> Your identity and your ego. That's a new word. I'm going to mix it together. I digo. Right? We got to speak in code. Especially with what's going on with the F. A. Me in the middle. Switch it. Reverse it. Don't curse it. So anyway, look. The Libra moon. Your mother. Right? Because the moon is your instinct. Your motherly love inside the bedroom of your home. The rising sign ascendant is the outside, the paint, right? The address or the, the Mercedes, right? Is the sun of the car, the ego, the identity. So your moon is how you think and emotionally react and this and that. So your mom was graceful, peaceful, harmonious. She, she taught you about couth and being dignified, okay? She probably had not that much necessarily Libra in her chart, but she's probably intelligent, air, air sign maybe, but she probably had a lot of Venus energy, whether it's Taurus or Libra in her chart, okay? So the Libra moon people, right? They like harmony. They're good with music, relationships, communication. So they will basically, that was kind of windy. They will basically just have you They'll address fairness, right? They want peace and, and, and balance, but they sometimes have to really work on not getting taken advantage of, right? Because they they don't feel at peace if they're not like in a relationship or love, right? They don't like to necessarily do things by themselves, right? Libra is a masculine energy, but they are about, Venus is about, Anything beautiful, but also relationship and love. Libra more so than Taurus because of the air. So they're good at communicating. Harmonious communications, balance, fairness, right? I mean, Libra is basically, you know, where there's sun rising, more sun and moon, but it is the judge, jury, prosecution, and defense in their own court of laws. <laughs> I hate to tell on you, Libra. Uh, but with the moon, you know, they... Um, they have their times of kind of being a little insecure, right? It, they're hard to come to decisions. They need to be more blunt like an Aries moon, 
right? They go back and forth. It's the balance of the scales. So even when they decide like, okay, this is how I feel about this, they could see the other side of it. Now that can be good in certain ways in life, but it can make you indecisive, you know? Um, they're gonna want their significant other or their spouse to step up and do their part in a relationship because Libra's gonna love you right. They're gonna take care of you. They're gonna nurture you clean, make sure you look good. They're gonna look good, smell good. Those things are important to them. They don't want no stinky chick, no stinky dude, okay? You gotta come correct with a Libra moon. But you also, you know, you have to appreciate how fair they can be. And Libra Moon people, you guys have got to sort of step up and make, you know, some tough decisions sometimes. And sometimes that can mean like, you know, taking someone out of your life and giving them the boot, you know. Um, greater communication. If there's a confrontation, they don't necessarily love it. But if there's confrontation, they will, how could I explain it? They will kind of like in prelude to an argument or discussion, they've already ran through the dialogue in their head. They're very intuitive, but they don't always trust their intuition. So that's something they need to learn to, to do and to work on. The meditation and, and trust your intuitive uh, instinctual sense, right? So the moon is your fourth house. It's cancer. That's why I'm doing that as the last video. It just worked out that way. But then as I was coming down, I was like, hey, it's fitting that my cancer moon video will be my last one because I'm Eric Taylor and Taylor to you coaching. And I'm just intuitive like that. There's a Scorpio rising. Um, but the Libra moon, they, they're good at, you know, negotiating and making contracts and deals. They know how to bargain, hunt, and shop, you know. Um, sometimes they can, you know, it's Venus, so sometimes they can indulge and, and spend their money on things that are too expensive because it's comfortable or beauty, beautiful to them, right? Nice artwork and nice music and sofas and jewelry, and they like elegance and grace, right? And they got that from their mom. They want nice foods. Right? They're not foodies like Taurus is, like the Taurus moon when I was talking about that. But, you know, it's, it's still, Venus is still somewhat about the, the senses. Not the five senses in the way of the Taurus, but in the sense that they, they want to touch nice things. They want to smell nice things. Right? They want to look at nice things. So you'll see a, a, a Libra moon's home. They'll, they'll have nice decorations, you know. Even if they're, you know, lower income, they'll still make it look classy and nice, elegant, decent, pure. Think of pure as a good word. Obviously, harmonious, balanced, and fair, right? Um, it's Libra, so it's, you know, it's an air sign, right? With it being cardinal air, so they're good at communicating with anyone. Everyone likes to be around them. Right? I mean, you think about these famous people, they're so charismatic, right? Tyler Perry, Ray Charles, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Who doesn't love DiCaprio? Um, Ariana Grande, Missy Elliott. We love Missy. Jay-Z, Dr. Dre. Now, the men, you know, not to knock Dr. Dre, but the men, they can be a little, sometimes come off a little stoic, um you know, maybe a little controlling in a relationship. It's still masculine energy, even though it's air. So they could sometimes be verbally passive aggressive. Libras in general are passive aggressive. So the moon sign, more so with the men, will be passive aggressive. And the women too. I mean, it's just a fact, you know what I mean? So on your highest vibration, you're just so amazing. On your lowest vibration, you can you know, be insecure and you could be not flighty, but you can almost come off as fake because you're trying to people please too much. Stop it. Don't worry about pleasing everybody. You see the new world we're in? This new world order? I mean, you know, you can't worry about pleasing everybody. You need to please yourself. Farm and get your own food and grow your own stuff and get your own, well, <laughs> shoot, you need a water well soon. Uranus and Taurus, but anyway, um, oh my gosh, and happy May, some interesting times we're in, and obviously we're going to have a lot of changes with uh, Gemini and the North Node coming up May, uh, end of May 4th, May 5th, really, so get ready, 
<laughs> get ready. Uh, there's so much going on, people. But I'm telling you, get your birth chart done. Until May 25th, 2020, I'm running a sale. It's normally $150. I'm doing it just for $60. Okay, until Gemini season. It's fitting since we're entering the uh, Gemini in the North Node and we're in Taurus and Taurus is in Uranus, you know. So till May 25th, $60 for an astrological birth chart, full 12 house report, right? Plus a custom video summary to break it all down so you understand what's going on. You heard me? Break it all down for you. Layman's terms, basic terms, right? And um, that's a great gift. Get it for yourself, your children, help you become a better parent, help you switch and pivot your career, your destiny. You guys got to know what's going on and wake up and you, you need to know your own chart. It, it can help you through these minefields that are here and coming and in deeper levels. Are you watching the news? You see what's really going on? I hope so. Read between the lines though. Don't fall for the deception. Neptune and Pisces, okay? Um, that's globally, too. But anyway, so also a synastry compatibility chart, only $60. You got a loved one, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, you want to see if you're compatible? That's what that's for. Same thing with numerology. <sighs> Numbers have power. Check out E Complete Entertainment. Yeah, some real intelligent hip hop. Check out my catalog. Check out the. The spit tape. Some of those rhymes on there. I've already given it to you. I just hope you, you listen and you hear. Right? You rhyme for a reason, not just to shake it and dance. Please get out of the trance and the brainwashing and the programming. Turn on the light in your skull. What's my mission? <laughs> Turn the light on of you dull skulls. Total domination. What? See, complete. So anyway, back to the Libra. I could preach forever. But um, great uh, writing. Great with music, right? I mean, obviously, Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, Jay-Z, Ray Charles. Ray Charles was brilliant ahead of his time. And, right, people loved him. Harmonious speech. And he was the first one to get his own master's before Prince, before a lot of people. Ray Charles, a genius businessman. Jay-Z, Dr. Dre, businessman. They handle their seventh house, not just marriage relationships, contracts, the marketplace, negotiations. Libra is a master at business. Judge, jury, prosecution, defense, social worker, teacher, counselor, therapist, right? So in a relationship with the other moon signs, Air and fire, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, maybe Taurus, because it's Venus. But, um, you know, you got to know the whole chart. I mean, any two moon signs, any two sun signs can work together when you know the rising sign, what's in the seventh house. A woman needs to know the man's Jupiter. The man needs to know the woman's Venus. The Mars is, are important. All, so many things. Seventh house, the Juno. Juno? Juno, Zeus's wife. All right, so I love y'all. Libra Moon. I might wait to Sunday or Monday night to do this Cancer Moon and finish the Moon series. Maybe I'll start my Mars or my Venus series or Mercury, one of those three. Um, still building my course. Hopefully that'll be up in June. But um, if you want to learn Introduction to Basic Astrology, which you should all know, especially in these times, you need to know what's really going on the truth the truth from the chip tooth genius G -g genius of meanness Libra you're amazing and they're funny they have great smiles so good at communicating and they just they just make you feel good because they're so harmonious. The fairness, the balance, you know? They know how to make people feel good. But they'll get tired too. If you don't step up and do your part in a relationship because they're gonna do theirs, they're gonna bounce eventually, okay? So respect them, appreciate them. If you 
they master they are the masters of love and relationships a libra moon okay even more so than the sun or the rising libra moons are really good cancer moons you know okay so um hit me up follow me on twitter at taylor 2c instagram or facebook taylor 2 coaching go ahead and like my youtube page follow it subscribe hit the bell down below and subscribe comment you know i hope you enjoy it but communicate with me i'd love to and email me you want to get that birth chart done taylor 2 coaching at gmail.com only 60 bucks come on that's going back up to its rightful price after may 25th um that's it let's go inside hear my little uh 11th house technology let siri break it down for you get some more of these uh famous people because there's more i can't remember them all and um and then you'll get ready for that last video of the cancer moon but libra moon you you have got to write and meditate because you you have these intuitive downloads that God is sending to you, but you have to listen to it. What good is it if God sends you a gift and you don't listen? Right? You're cardinal air. You like to initiate, but sometimes you gotta put the pause and just listen to yourself. Right? Your gut, your intuition, your instinct. This is how God speaks to your computers down here in the gut, the root chakra, and that's here. Your eyes can deceive you and lie to you. Your ears, you might miss here. All right. All right, let's go inside. Eric Taylor, Taylor 2 Coaching. <sighs> yeah. I like your harmony. So good with music. Ah, Justin Bieber, Gandhi, Jay-Z, Dr. Dre, Ray Charles. Who I think, who is it? Um, besides Missy Elliott. Pfft, everyone loves her. Tom Hardy. DiCaprio. You know you all love DiCaprio. Who doesn't? Brilliant actor. Was it uh, Gilded, Gil uh, Eating Gilbert Grape or whatever? So many good movies that he's done over the years. I like that cat. He's a good actor. I never worked with him, but he's, he's no joke. So, all right. Shoot, almost battled Jay-Z from the New Music Seminar back when Craig Mack and Biggie were coming out. Clark Kent, Clark Kent took him inside, talking about you got $1,000 to battle. I was like, let's go. Me, Mad Skills, Stony Island from Chicago, outside right there on, uh, what was it, right off of 50th, 51st and Avenue of the Americas, the New Music Seminar. When Big Biggie and Craig Matt was it summer '94? I'll never forget that. All right, Taylor Two coaching. Be complete. I got bars for you, cats. Let's go, Libra Moon. Check out my breakdown. You like that music? Yeah, feel that. Uh, uh. <laughs> I put the music in later, so if my head bounces off beat, it's okay, cause my technique is still unique. The lyrical iron chic. Hope you take a peek. It's Capricorn Moon. Taylor to you, coaching. All right, Libra Moon, we're back inside. I hope you stay humble, don't exist in the pride. Fairness and balance all of the time. You're so harmonious even when you sing a rhyme. Oh, and I think what, Shania Twain's on here? You'll see, I'll see. Here, let's, let's break it down. Siri, go ahead. Taylor to you coaching. Libra moon, cardinal air moon sign ruled by Venus and ruler of the seventh house. Very friendly with true balance, harmonious, socially proper mom. Cared about grace, elegance, good manners, fairness, beauty. Mom was good in public, nice people who desire love very. Charming want to be in love and relationships need to work on pleasing people too much people might think you are fake since you want people to like you so much very intelligent and love pretty things need a peaceful home clean and pure can lack self worth and will put others needs before yourself very intuitive and get information quickly can feel the truth about people easily. 
but you doubt yourself a bit make a decision can avoid confrontation at times very artistic good dresser stylish can be romantic love match Aries moon Leo moon Sagittarius moon Gemini moon Aquarius moon and Taurus good in marriage moon defend yourself and work on being blunter Famous Libra Moon People Dr. Dre Tom Hardy Shania Twain Agatha Christie Ray Charles Tyler Perry Leonardo DiCaprio Justin Bieber Jay-Z Alicia Key Missy Elliott Nick Cannon Ariana Grande How could I forget Alicia Keys? Tyler Perry? Ariana Grande? I mean, wow. Yeah, I mean, Missy Elliott, Dr. Dre, Jay-Z, Agatha Christie these people man you know dicaprio there's so many um shania twain so look obviously with alicia keys shania twain ariana grande the singing the uniqueness the creativity like i said they get these downloads and even before they debate or even battle it's like they get these gifts right from their intuitive sense connection to god where they're just so verbally in tune Remember, the air signs are, are heavy, quick thinking and are extremely intelligent people. So you're talking about Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius air signs, right? Well, the Libra, the scales, this moon, oh my goodness. And because of the way that they are so harmonious and know how to speak and communicate, they have the fairness and balance, not to manipulate people, but just people just feel good being around them. All right? And they're good at relationships. They're good at business deals. They're good at marriage. They're good, of, good at, at giving you the answers to what you need and assessing things. Leavers are good teachers, social workers, interior decorators, designers, event planners, right? Musicians, artists, actors, writers. But they just have this way of making everything fall into place properly. Thank you, Libras. Now, being a Virgo sun, right, you, you, with the sun signs, the sun after you, you learn, you can learn lessons from them. So I've learned a lot from Libras in my life, the suns, not Libra moons, but yeah. Remember, sometimes the men can be too stoic. The women could be almost like too needy. Just work on your highest vibration. You need to be more assertive verbally and blunt. Okay, don't worry about hurting people's feelings. Protect your own feelings. You guys put people's emotions and feelings before your own. And your mom was just so, you know, maybe sometimes she made you too harmonious, right? And that's why you got this Libra moon, because she was always about be proper, be elegant, be graceful, be this, be pure, be, you know, and sometimes you just need to be, rah, <laughs> right? Be like that Aries moon and assertive and outgoing. The Libra moon, be you. All right, hit me up, $60 now to May 25th, 2020, the sale for the birth chart, Come compatibility sinistry chart only 60 in numerology reading and just follow me like subscribe i appreciate it tailored to you coaching at gmail.com check out the website tailored to coaching.com <clears throat> and um thank you leave a moon thank you ray charles thank you all you guys and um yeah stay harmonious stay intelligent and fair and be you all right God bless you all. Be safe out there. Be smart and listen to your intuition more than ever. Get your birth chart, birth chart done. It's needed more than ever because there's so much lies and deception going out there in the television and the radio and this, the talking heads. It's, it's insane. I don't know who to trust and who can you trust, but in God we trust, right? It's not in the dollar, in your heart and your soul. Get your birth chart done. Libra Moon, I got you. Eric Taylor, Taylor to you coaching. Peace and harmony. <laughs> I sang chorus at high school a long time ago. And then too much bass, I kind of lost it all. Sorry. Bye, Libra Moon. <laughs>